Hi everybody, this is Barry from Jamberry, and I wanted to make a quick video since I'm in the midst of applying a new jam cure today. So I wanted to just show all of you how I apply my jams since I get questions about that. Um, and I know I, sometimes it's helpful to have a visual rather than just me telling you how to do it. So um, I'm going to put the camera down so you can see my hands and I will apply a couple of nails for you so you can see how I do it. Okay, hang on. Okay, so here we are. I have my supplies that I'm going to need at hand. Of course, my trusty Jamberry mini heater, which I cannot do without absolutely amazing product. You absolutely can apply Jamberry wraps with a hairdryer, but I highly recommend you consider getting a mini heater. It's really small and portable, lightweight, doesn't make any noise, and it doesn't blow. Um, I've had the experience of having my little Jamberry wrap I'm about to apply to my nails and I put it down on the table so I could pick up my hair dryer and I blow the wrap across the room. Very upsetting. This will not do that. I also have my purple cuticle pusher, which is very important. I have a set of tweezers, which is what I like to use to remove the wrap from the backing. Of course, I have my Jamberry nail file. I have a pair of nail scissors and uh, of course my wraps. So this is the wrap that I'm currently applying. It's called Temptress. It's really pretty. It's black with some gold sparkle and white at the end. It's kind of like a version of a um, French tip, but a little different, obviously. So I already have one hand finished. Um, took me about 10 minutes maybe to get all five nails on, even, maybe even a bit less. It's really not hard to do at all. My second hand is naked. Although you probably notice there's some shimmer, uh, shine on my nails, I do like to use um, the Jamberry strengthening base coat under my wraps. It's this right here. Not everybody likes to do that. I do. It's a personal preference. If you want to give it a try and see if you like it with your wraps, you totally can um, or not. You can put them on naked nails as well. This is just something that I've done for myself and I like it. So, that being said, that's what's on my nails currently. So I'm going to show you how I apply my thumb because there's a little extra step that I do on my thumb that I wanted to show you. So what I do is I cut the wrap right out of the backing. I know that my thumb is this wrap, the second largest wrap. If you're not sure what size, our wraps come on a clear backing. So just hold it up to your nail and you can even bend it a little bit just to see if it will cover your nail appropriately. You want to leave a little bit of nail showing on the edges. You want to err on the side of it being too small rather than too large. If you use a wrap that is too big for your nail and it touches your cuticle on either side, it's not going to stay. You're going to have lifting and you're not going to be happy with the results. But I know that my thumb takes the second largest wrap, so I'm actually going to cut right into the backing between the strips and cut half off. Okay, so now I am left with this. This is the piece that's going to go on this thumbnail. The other thing that I want you to notice, and not everybody has this, but I happen to have a very square shaped thumb at the cuticle end, if you can see that. It's kind of flat. The wrap at the curved end is very curvy. I prefer it to fit a little bit better. So what I do is I take the wrap from my thumb and I cut a tiny sliver, really tiny sliver, off the very end. I might curve it, you know, kind of round it a little bit on the edges, but if you notice the difference there, it's a little more flat now. And this is how much I cut off. Can you see that? Hardly anything, but it's really helpful to do that. So I'm going to turn my heater on now, just to get it starting to heat up. And what I do now is I take my tweezers and I remove the wrap from the backing. So you see this? I'm peeling it off and my hands, if you notice, my fingers haven't touched the adhesive end of the wrap because you don't want to have any oil residue on the back of the wrap before you apply it to your nail. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat it up. Now if you notice, see how stiff this is? It's not moving. It's, you know, it's a piece of vinyl, but it's, it's very stiff. When I put it in front of the heater, watch what happens. I don't know if you can see that. It got a little floppy. Can you see that, how it's kind of floppy now? Anyway, so I'm going to grab it with my fingers. You don't have to do this. I'm going to be cutting that end off, the flat end. So I actually hold it with the tip of my fingers. Now I'm going to apply it to 
to my nail as close as I can get to the cuticle, place it lightly without touching the cuticle. And it's just lightly placed. I haven't done any pressing yet. It's just placed on my nail. Now, I'm going to take my thumb of my other hand, place it, place it at the base of the cuticle and press, go upwards, slide my thumb up towards the tip. That's it. All I did was from the base up towards the tip. This is called the one, two, three method. All I did was, number one, press this way. Now if you notice, it's not adhered on either edge. See that? So that was number one of the one, two, three. Now I'm going to heat one side for a couple seconds, and now press that side. That's number two. Now I'm going to heat the other side a couple of seconds, and now I'm going to press that side. I'm just using the thumb of my other hand. And you see I'm just going from the middle out to the edge, middle out to the edge, and middle and straight. So I'm just using my thumb, using some pressure, and I'm just pressing out any wrinkles, any bubbles. But if you notice, I did it in three steps. One, then heat, two, then heat, three. The center is number one, one side is number two, the other side is number three. You heat three times. Okay, it's pressed down now, but that's, I'm not finished yet completely. Now I'm gonna heat it a couple seconds. Now I take my purple pusher, I put my finger down on the edge of the table. It's important to have some leverage with that. And I'm just gonna press all the way around, making sure that I'm getting a watertight seal around all the edges. So I have my head, I just want to show you what I'm doing. You're going to press all the way around, all the, cu the cuticle edge, all the way around, and the whole nail. Push, push, push with the pusher. Okay? Now see I'm pressing, I'm pulling, kind of pulling a little bit at the edge that's left, just to make sure there's no wrinkles anywhere. I might heat it one more time just to make sure it's fully pressed down. Look, I'm looking, do I have any wrinkles, any bubbles, I don't see any problems. So now I'm going to take my file at a 90 degree angle, not 45, not like this. You don't want to scrape off any of the wrap. 90 degrees, down only. Just down. I'm not going side to side. I'm not going up and down. Just down. And look what's happening. Do you see that? And it's off. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's nice and smooth. If there's any rough spots, I might use my file a little bit. Now what I like to do at this point, I put it in front of the heater one more time for a second, just at the tip, and then I use the thumb of my opposite hand to just really make sure the tip is sealed. Now if you can see, it is perfectly applied. There's no issues with it. It's nice and smooth. There's no wrinkles. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to do one more nail for you. So I'm going to hold it up to my fingers. I know that my pointer finger takes the fourth from the smallest wrap. If you can see that, see it fits perfectly right there. So I will cut it out of the backing. I prefer to do it this way rather than peel it off because it's easy to save the rest. Many people peel off the whole wrap and then you just waste a whole bunch. You don't want to do that. So so I will take my tweezers, and I don't have to cut this one. This one's simple. I just pull it right off the back. Okay, I'm going to hold it up to my heater just for a couple of seconds and place it on my nail where I want it. If I'm not exactly thrilled with where it is, I can lift it up. I didn't press it yet. Okay, so it's heated, and I'm going to remember I take my thumb from my opposite hand, number one straight up the middle. Now I'm going to heat one edge, number two, press that one down. I'm going to heat the other edge, one, two, it's just like two, maybe two seconds, maybe three seconds. That's it. Not a lot of heat. And now I'm just pressing from the middle to the tip, middle to the side, middle to the side. I'm looking, I don't see any issues. Very nice. I heat it again. Tug on the edge just a little bit. You don't want to stretch it too much. You just want to make sure there's no issues at the tip. Heat it one more time, and I'm going to take my purple pusher. Go all the way around. If you can see here. Try 
turn off the heater. All the way around, press down, press down. Make sure that it's all sealed nicely. Okay, now I'm going to take my file, 90 degree angle, one direction only, down until the excess is gone. Now if you look like I have a little, see that little piece there on the edge? Can you see that? So I will take file and file that right off. So you have a perfectly smooth, and as I said before, I'm turn the heater back on a second. I like to heat the edge one last time and then use my thumb from my other hand and press down on that tip. So there'll be no lifting, no rough edges. So if you can see, two nails done. I'm going to finish this hand and then at the end when I'm all finished I will um, make another video showing how I like to put clear true shine gel over everything. I'm also going to apply a couple of um, gel colors right over top of these wraps so I'll show you some of that later but even without that step look at how pretty. So simple, so easy, perfect application and this will last up to two weeks. I don't think you could say that about a salon manicure with just plain polish. Amazing. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about application or anything else Jamberry related, please feel free to post on my um, Facebook page, Jamberry Barry on Facebook, or send me a message. Um, hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.